In this tutorial I'll explain how to overlay ggplot2 density plots using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if we click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns. The first column contains numeric values, and the second column is a group indicator. Now, let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then you also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 12. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomdensity, as you can see in lines 14 to 17 of the code. And within these lines of code, I'm also specifying that my fill argument should be equal to group. And this is very important in case we want to overlay several density plots corresponding to different groups in our data. So if you run lines 14 to 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot object has been created. And as you can see, this plot is showing three different densities and these densities overlay each other. And you can also see at the right side of the plot that our densities are corresponding to the groups in our data frame. So as you can see in this example, the overlaying densities are not transparent. So we cannot see the density areas behind the first density in our overlaid plot. So if we want to change the opacity of our densities, then we can also set the alpha argument to a lower value, as you can see in lines 19 to 22 of the code. So in this case, I'm setting the alpha value to 0.3. And the lower this value is, the higher the opacity of our densities. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time we have created an overlaid ggplot2 density plot with opacity. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.